Hello everybody and this is Leslie. So today what we're going to work on, we are going to hand stitch clusters. Everything that you see here in front of me is a hand stitch cluster from tons of scraps, um, buttons, flowers, laces, um, Tim Holtz stuff, you name it. I have all this stuff like laid out in front of me. Now, with me being sick and having the issues that I've been having lately with my back, I've been sitting on a heating pad. So when I'm sitting there in the living room, I decided that one night I was going to just sit and sew because that was something I could do. So these are the pieces that I created. So I had inherited this beautiful piece from my mother and so I put a bunch of buttons now this is a wooden nickel that when we used to live in uh, well we didn't live in Patterson but this was from Patterson New Jersey and that was a wooden nickel my father must have got but I have a bunch of different buttons and stuff in here I have more I have to actually find them I'm not really sure where I put them right now, but these are the ones that I've been working with. So see how some of them are really nice and big and chunky. Um, some of them I've had to, my mother actually cut them off clothing, so I have to kind of take the fabric and stuff off of them. But like this one, I want to incorporate this one somewhere, but probably on the front of a journal. But those are... The buttons that I have. And then I have a bunch of lace and stuff here that I have off to the side. And I have a bunch of like littler pieces. Then we have some bigger pieces. This is kind of mix mash of just about everything. So I've been trying to use that. Then I have my flowers. And I also have my box of different types of linens and lace and stuff like that too so then I have that off to the side so that was what I did I sat and just put stuff together what goes this way And then basically all you do is when you're looking for them, you already have them made. So you've pretty much mass made them. Now, if you don't want to stitch, you can certainly use a stapler. Um, of course, you're not going to, you can glue, you know, if you wanted to use glue instead of uh, stitching. But, um, but I like the whole sewn in button look too. And I didn't think about it. I just put stuff together. I mean, I tried to put colors together that were going to match, needless to say. Like this one, I specifically wanted to do for the black and white journal. Um, this one, too, I kind of wanted to use for, like, the black and white journal. I mean, I know it's not just black and white, but I may or may not use it. I'm not really sure. But those those are what I did. So all together I had made. So I did 14 pieces um, while I was watching TV. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to make, we're going to try and make three of them. So I have my, this was my mom's um, thread. And as you can see, this is by Coates and Clark's and it's button carpet, extra strong. And eventually when I do use this, I plan on using this this is a heavy duty spool, but this is a very thick brown, so it's very sturdy. And I really like using this one because I, I tried using this in my sewing machine. It didn't really work well. So I said, forget it. I'm just going to use it to hand stitch. And then here are all of my needles and stuff. So usually the one I use is, which is it this one? It's this one. Okay. 
So we're going to sit here. We're going to thread this. I put my glasses on. So I hope everybody is well. We're getting a little closer to fall. I know it's still in the upper 80s, low 90s here. Um, it's been mostly in the 80s, the upper 80s. I know a lot of people are getting it a lot worse than what we've had it. Um, but still, nonetheless, it's been very, very, very warm. I get to stay in the house, you know, but unfortunately my husband has to go to work and he works out in it, so not fun for him. So I just leave the air conditioning on so he has something cool to come home to when he comes home from work. So what I do is these pictures here, like the ones I really, I know I'm never gonna use in a journal. So let's take some stuff out. Like these little pieces, like any like little pieces and stuff that you have are good. I mean, needless to say, I'm not gonna be using this. I don't want to lose my thread, which I already pulled off. And then what I'll do is I will just start picking stuff from here. See, these were um, a bunch of hankies that were my dad's. So what I've been doing is I had coffee dyed them. I take the seam off and then I use them to back onto stuff. Take those, those I throw out. I don't want those, so. And then, so like what I'll do is I'll take a little piece of that. So let's say we'll do that. So we'll take this, we'll take that we have this piece here so maybe we'll stitch this in somewhere here we'll put that we'll add that maybe we'll add this and then we'll go from there all right so let's start off with me stitching this onto here. All right, so let's go. And I come up through the back first. Needless to say, because I want to hide that part. And then what I do is I will put a couple here. And don't worry, you don't you don't have to worry about it being straight. No, nothing like that. You just want to get this part adhered. And then what I'll do is I'll come down over here. Only because I want to get this corner. And then I'm going to attach the next piece. Okay. So now we're going to attach this piece onto the back here. So I think I'm going to put it on the top. So basically all I do is I put this on here and then I will go through again. Not gonna, I don't want to go through the same hole, but you can because it's not going to come through. And then I'll go back across again. So at least I'll be able to get you a couple of different videos this week. My back's not doing too bad today. I never know what the next day is going to bring anymore. Um, I had gone to the doctor and they're looking into seeing about having me go for another MRI and for a CT scan of my belly. 
because um, I told him that the stabbing pain that I was having and continue to have uh, since not this past Tuesday, but the Tuesday before, so it's a little over a week, um, hasn't been fun. The only thing that's been working for me has been the dual action um, Advil. And I shouldn't really be taking Advil only because of the fact that I have Crohn's disease and Crohn's disease for some reason um, it it tends to cause me to have a flare-up so so I'd rather not if I didn't have to but unfortunately I don't have much choice so okay so I just pulled out some random pieces here. So let's see what we want to put on here. Because we're up at the top, we need to come down. So let's see. Let's see if we put a ticket. So I'm going to sew in a ticket. John and I have two concerts to go to. One is on September 7th and one September 9th, and I'm petrified that I'm not gonna be able to walk. And one of them, which I know I've mentioned before, is for the band Ghost, and we have a meet and greet with him. And those tickets were not cheap. So it will literally kill me if I can't go to this show. And I really don't want to do that to my husband because I know he's been looking very much forward to it too. So what have you all been up to? How was your summer? Were you able to go and get away? Did you guys do anything fun? And see, this is all I do. I just go in and out and I start adding pieces on as I'm going around. And then I'll like take a look at it and see, okay, well, what else do we need? So I wanna add, I want to try and get this on here somehow. And sometimes what I end up doing is I have to put the needle up through and then I will try and get this through here. There we go. And then I'll start and that's how I'll start it. And then I'll try and flatten it back down here only because that's the, the look I'm going for, that's that's all. And I'm gonna put it on an angle here, hopefully. Hopefully. And if not, oh well. <laughs> but we're gonna try. Okay, let's pull that through. Does anybody else enjoy hand stitching? I know everybody calls it slow stitch, it's hand stitching. I actually find it somewhat therapeutic. It's like collage for me because I find collage very, very calming. Okay, so that's on there. Mm. Let's stitch him on here. And see how I'm not really fussing too much with, you know, 
color and stuff like that. I mean, you can, you can certainly, but I'm not worrying too much about color and stuff like that. Okay. And then what I'll do is I'll go up through here again. If you hear voices, that's my neighbors because they always go outside on their balcony to smoke. And it drives us nuts because we don't want to smell their smoke. All right, now let's see for a button. Do we want to do a button? Hmm, kind of liking that. That's too big. Or, no, or should we go with that? Maybe we'll go with that. Let's do that. So now, as you can see, I'm up towards the top. So I need to make my way down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look for a little bit more of an edging. So since we have these colors here, I think I'm going to use this color here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off this. Well, that definitely is not my upstairs neighbors. I'm thinking that's either a maintenance person or that is possibly my next, my next door neighbor. Okay, so let me stitch this on. And all I'm doing is just going through like the hanky part and whatever I have here, just so that I can anchor it on. Because don't forget, you're gonna be gluing this in into your, your journals. All right, so we're down towards the bottom here. Yeah, that's gotta be maintenance, guys. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, let me go back through here. And then we're gonna put the button here. I like my buttons to be facing up like that. So what I'll do is I will put this here put this through and actually I think I want this over here there we go and then I try and hold it in place and then I go angle to angle so I go from the top to the bottom and then I will go up through the bottom then up through the top And again, and then I'm catching, of course, that lace and stuff that's in the in the back now. And that's all I do. I just do two passes, and then what I'll do now is I will go through the back here. I will go through a little bit of the fabric that's back there. And then I will make sure I don't lose my thread here and tighten it. And again, I will do it one more time. Go this way. I don't want it to go through that far. And pull that tight. And we will do one more. I do everything in threes. And then we snip off the end. 
So there you have it. So there is one and that took hardly any time whatsoever. And then what I do is any of like the little pieces and stuff like this, if you wanted to use them like from your thread, I won't, it's too small for me to use. I put them off to the side sometimes and then I'll put them in between, you know, when you're, when you're laying stuff down. So we have another one made. So let's put that one off to the side. So let's get some more. And I just, I mean, I just go like that pretty much. Like an arm's length, I guess you would say, is what I start with. I would always rather have more than not enough. And then I tie two knots down on the bottom. And I try to get it towards the end as much as I can. Now, do you guys do anything like this? Do you do your clusters and stuff? How do you do your clusters when you make them? Let's see, what do we want to start with? Oh, it's Alice in Wonderland. I think we'll start with this one. Start with the mushroom one. look through here all right so let's see what do we have in here what can we pull out of here got a butterfly we have a round tag we have a collect let's just pull a bunch of these out enough all right let's start here okay so let's see we said we were going to start with this base so let's grab what do we want out of here again I think we're going to take some hanky Just gonna cut this in half here. I'll go with that. I think we'll stick with the, the the hanky right now. Then I had some fabric here. I have some green. We can add this on here. So let's just sew this on. Let's start here. So what is new in your world? What have you all been up to? What are you working on? I uh, want to do a shout out to Angela over at Meet the Shrods. Now, once she gets, she is so close to a thousand subscribers. And what is going to happen is she's going to be doing a name change on her YouTube channel. Um, I will link her video talking about what she plans on doing for her thousand subscriber video. And so I would love for you guys to all go and check out Angela and subscribe to her channel. Like I said, as of this morning, she when I watched her video, she was only 79 away from a thousand, which is pretty darn close. And Angela's a sweetheart. Um, I had asked her, I had wanted to purchase from her 
because I know she's got a ton of um, wallpaper. And so I asked her, I said, you know, I'd, I'd rather give you the sale. So do you happen to have a lot of black and white types of um, wallpaper? Only because I needed it to see if I can make some journaling cards and stuff like that for the black and white journal. And I had gotten really, really sick and she had answered me back and she's like, I don't expect you to buy it. She says, you tell me what you're looking for, she says, and I will send it out to you. And that's the kind of person that Angela is. Angela is an absolute gem she is the, one of the sweetest people. She's very talented. And I absolutely love her videos. I, she just does such a great job on her videos. And she does Thrifty Thursdays. She does um, a whole bunch of different types of videos, different stuff, because she does, she does a lot of um, thrift shopping. And now she's even shopping for, if people are looking for specific things, um, she will actually go out, you give her how much you're looking to spend and she will go out and she will go shopping for you. So that's a service that she's just starting herself too. But yeah, she, she had sent me the message back via Etsy and said, and I was like, no, I'm not going to be really able to do anything. I'm not feeling well. And then she said, all right, well, when you're ready, let me know. And, you know, I've been feeling a little bit better. So I just sent her my address and she's going to send this stuff out to me. So, but like I said, please, I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave a link to that video for her thousand subscriber giveaway info. So please, I'll put it up towards the top. And if you've noticed in my description box, I do list a whole bunch of stuff from Amazon. I am an Amazon affiliate. So the links that you use from like some of my favorite products and stuff, I want to thank you because I have noticed that people are using them because I have gotten quite a few that um, I've actually gotten a little bit of money for. Like I said, it's not much, but you know, I'm as it comes in, I'm going to put it towards whatever I need to purchase for the channel. So thank you all for using those links. I truly appreciate it. And also to, um, as of right now, like I said, my Etsy shop is not open. I had mentioned that in my last video, but um, I will be reopening it and I'm gonna be looking to do bundles. So I will make sure to link the video that I just uploaded previous to this one. What else we got here? I kind of want some round. To add a little round one here. And what happens as your layers get a little thicker, it gets a little harder to put this, pull this through. What else we got here? Let's see. Yeah, 
I don't want to put this on yet. I don't want that yet. Maybe we'll add a little bit of this on here. That's kind of cool. Put this on top. That's kind of spinning. It's okay. That's really going to be hard to get through. Ugh. Need a thimble. That's another thing. Angela did an awesome video on how to use thimbles when you're making your tassels for the sides of your journals. That was a funky, cool idea that she had. Okay. Now, let's see. We need a little bit more. Hmm. a little bit of this on here. And yes, this is coffee dyed cheesecloth. I'm going to add that down on the bottom. Now, let's see, so I want something over here, but first off, I've got to put whatever I'm going to put here. So let's take a look at these flowers that I have here. That one's kind of cute. A whole bunch of those. That one's too light. I think I might go with that. I have these, but they're really big. Oh, here's a bigger one. I want to use that or that. I think we're going to go for the little one. All right, let's try that one. Okay. So now because this is smaller, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up and then I'm going to put this through as close ooh, as I stab myself. To that middle section as possible and that's how I'm going to stitch this on and then what I do is I kind of go around as much as I can okay so that's in good all right, so now we're close enough to do something down here. Now, what do we want to put there? Um, all right, let's put that in there. this to go underneath the flower. All right, that's good. Let's tie this off in the back here. So let's go through a couple layers here because we're running out of thread here. Now 
And what happened was I got my thread stuck in between. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna tie this. We'll just do two that way. So I've been watching Sand the Sandman. I think I have two episode two episodes left. Um, I still have to watch. Um, the new version of Game of Thrones. So there we go. So that's another one. And then of course, you know, you can always add stuff onto it via glue and, and all that, but at least you have a piece started. So here we have, we've got two, we'll do one more. So let's get another long piece here. I'm gonna do a little bit longer, I think this time. And, um, the other show that I'm somewhat addicted to right now is, it's an old show that was on HG, HGTV with Lara Spencer. It was called um, Flea Market Flip. Yeah, Flea Market Flip. I think I'm like on the third or fourth season. And I think there's like 14 seasons. And then I saw that she had another show I can't remember what the name of it is, so I think once I'm done with that, I'll try and take a look and see what that's about. But it's funny too, because the places that they go to are places that John and I know of, because we lived in Connecticut, so we know where the Elephant Trunk Flea Market is, because that's in New Milford, Connecticut, and we used to pass it a, a lot when we used to go shopping to places that we used to go to. And um, <laughs> what else was there? Um, Stormville Flea Market up in New York. We used to live in New York, so we know where that is. And then there was one up in Massachusetts too that they did. Okay, so we're gonna start with this again. So I'm gonna sew this on, because I like this. I'm just amazed what people can create with flea market finds. It's absolutely amazing. I don't have that kind of talent. <laughs> <laughs> but it really is amazing. And I think that's why even John actually watched a, was watching a couple of episodes with me. And he had said to me, so he says, come September, he says, if you're able to, he says, you want to go to a couple of flea markets? I said, I'd love to be able to go to a couple of flea markets. I just want to be able to walk and be able to stand I don't know if we're gonna get to that at this point. I'm hoping I find out, I was hoping to find out information from the rheumatologist, but I have to go back to see his PA on September 2nd to go over my blood work. And then um, I have to see a hematologist because they said my, protein levels were elevated and my regular doctor when I went to go see her the other day she said don't freak out she said I don't want you to freak out thinking that you've got cancer and stuff like that she says because it very well may not be that so I'm like okay but that's with the pain and stuff that I've had on my side with the stabbing pain you know, I had mentioned to her if she thought maybe it's possible that it could be gallbladder or anything like that, but she kind of didn't think it was gallbladder. But when she was going through my chart, she had asked me, she goes, how come your orthopedist never at, had you go for an MRI on, I, I forget what part of my back. I said, I don't know. <laughs> I 
I said, you can take that up with him. You know who it is. <laughs> and she's like, yeah, I do. I know who it is. Because they're all one part of one big health team of Atlantic Healthcare. Now, I have orange. We're going to use orange for this one. Got to watch my time here. Where was I? We're down towards the bottom. So I think we're going to put this under here. Yep, that looks good. But it's, you know, been since March and it's kind of frustrating that you know, and I mean, my doctor even said it too. She says, I understand how frustrated you are. She says, because you've been going through this for so long. And she says, none of us have any com any idea really of what you really have yet. All right, so we need more here. Let's see, what can we put here? Mm. I have a collect ticket. You know what, let's put that there. that like that. Let's find so this mushroom on what else we got here? We have a flower. So the flower on. Now, as you see, I'm only doing two stitches through these. I just want it to be anchored on there. Now, what else can we get for here? Because um, I want this to be facing this way. We're just going to be fun trying to get this little sucker on here. Let's see here. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. All right. So I want something down here. I really like to use. Well, let's try and use this. this. Oops. Let's anchor that on somehow. I want that to be underneath.
gonna go through there because I need something a little bit more sturdy to go through. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this. We're gonna put a gather in there. I like that. All right. So let's do one more set of stitches here. So we're gonna go back up again. We'll go back through there again. I'll tighten that up a little because I like that little bit of gather there. All right, let's see. Do we want to put a flower or do we want to do a button? I'm thinking a button. Uh, oh, I kind of like this one. How about that one? I like that one. Let's put that one. I know I don't have orange. I wish I did. I gotta find something for that. Yeah, we're gonna go with that one. I'm not gonna mess about here. We're gonna put it right down here. So let's put that there. Now, nah, actually it's too close to the round. We want it to go over here more. Let's go over here. That should be good. base of my needle is a little thick to get through the actual hole of the button. I kind of need something behind it. It's a little flopping in the wind here. Let me see, what can I put underneath that? You know what, let's take a little bit of this because this is heavy duty. That's cardstock. So let's try and anchor this underneath. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and put this through here first. harder than it looks only due to the fact that the top part of my needle where the hole where you put the thread is a little bit heavier and a little bit wider to get through the hole so and then when you have thread through there too it's a little harder to get through on in the back now. Okay, we'll take a look at it. And then 
for some reason, I think I need a flower on the top. All right, let's look at our flowers here. I know I don't have orange flowers. I wish I did. Mm, not doing anything for me. like that but it's too big too big too big too small do we use another one of those yeah it kind of works yeah we'll go with that again all right so we got to make our way back up to the top again so we're gonna stitch our way up So is this something you think you guys would try? Because it's really not that, it's really not that bad. You, it really, like I said, it's just a matter of really finding some pieces that you really like and just sewing them on. And like I said, you don't have to go nuts. I do the best that I can do. And they usually come out pretty, pretty cute in the end. And like I said, once you have them done, even if you do them very, very generic, you can then always, um, I'm just gonna close this off here. Add stuff on later by gluing it, or if you wanted to sew more stuff on, you could certainly do that too. You know, and then what happens is once, once you actually go to put it on a piece, you can then, you know, alter it and, you know, figure out like, oh, I want to put some gemstones there or, you know, whatever, whatever really you kind of want to add on to it. And then you can make these as little um, places where you can tuck stuff in. And I just did that completely wrong. So we'll just do that that way. more okay and there you got it so we have three done so we have this one was our first one this one was our second one, and that one was our third one. And like I said, this one you can embellish and add stuff onto it after you figure out which journal you wanna put it into, but at least you have a piece made and you mass made some pieces so that you have them. So I will add this to my 14, so now I have 14, 15, 16, 17, and I'm probably going to sit here and do a little bit more. But so that's it for today. And again, thank you all for joining me. And I will see everybody on my next video. And please, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe. And also, too, if you can, please leave me comments down below because it does help me um, with the algorithms with YouTube. So I would appreciate if you could you know, say hi. And, uh, you know, I answer every single comment always. So I would love to get to know who you guys are. And 
you know, let's start a conversation. And I will see you all the next time. Take care, everybody. Bye.